Oh my god! Will you quit playing the switch so we can do this podcast? First I've already hit the button. Go, 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 go. Bam! Welcome to Talking Pops. Oh my god. <sighs> Playing the switch so we can do this podcast. That I've already hit. <laughs> I can hear myself playing back. I forgot to hit the button. It tells it to not do that. Welcome to the show, every guys. Every guys. How's everybody doing? Whew. Did you get another box? No, that's the same box. Don't touch it. Don't talk about how it. How do I pause it? Hit the pause button. The no, square. Wait. The plus sign. No. How do I just like shut the screen off? Hit the button at the top. The round button at the no. The on the top. By the the power button. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. I really like that. Welcome to episode 61. Yes. I know. I remember. Because I missed the big 6-0 last week. You did miss the big 6-0. You said it was the regular 5-9. How, what's this taste like? What's the flavor? I don't. I can't describe it. Like Christmas? I can't. I doubt it. We got four locos again because... Uh, there's not a ton of... My wife wants to be a widow. There's not a ton of 40s. That, or 40s. I, you said you were going to give me this next time, and you didn't. No, I got something else this time, so... These smell like monster, like Red Bull. Yeah, monster. try them. They're good. That's not bad. I know it's not bad. <laughs> That's kind of dangerous. Is it? I think... Do you hear fireworks? Yeah, they've been going off like crazy. It's not the 4th of July yet. It's the 4th of July weekend. But it's not the 4th of July. I stopped at Chick-fil-A. and Did they recommend a sauce? I I got the stuff at the drive-thru. Like, you know, you pull up to the menu, and I made my, my order. Yes! In case you weren't short. All right, so I was like, number two, blah, blah, blah. She's like, that is I got I was like, number two. I was like, yeah. So I pull up, and she's like, here's your tea. It'll be $7, $7 in this sense. And I was like, hey. How about I get a cookie? <laughs> You're one of those guys? Second order people? And she laughed. She's like, <laughs> sure. And I was like, what the heck? I bet you they hate those second order people she so was, bad. She was probably like, do you need one? And I was going to be like, yeah, I'm going to need one. If it makes you feel any better, I got a Fruit Loop milkshake at Dairy Queen. Ugh. It was so at good. At Dairy Queen? Burger nope, King. At Burger King. It T- was great. TM. TM, because we're we're promoting for the wrong fast food chain. I don't man. know if that's what you're supposed. Dude, to we're say. gonna be on Burger King, King King how, Crowns. <laughs> this poor loco. I would. So you know how I live in like the middle of the scary woods. Ave scary woods, yeah, yeah. And you know that blind turn where you can't really see too well. That's your whole road. Okay. Well, you know the the turn where the cats are. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I was <sighs> making that turn last. No, I didn't hit a cat. Okay. Last night, I got home at around 10. I'm pretty late for you. Yeah. I go flying around that curve, you know, a little over the speed limit. Nothing crazy because it's a blind turn. Um, I come up and then I slam on the brakes. Guess what's there? A kid. Nope. Close. Six horses. (laughs) With people riding on them. No lights. Nah. Yep. There's people on them? Yes. (laughs) What do you live in Texas? I know. I and it if I was 4 seconds later, I would have hit 3 horses with my car. <laughs> How do you tell your insurance that? I don't I, a bunch of dead horses. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and here's what here's what would happen. Like I stopped to get kittens out of the middle of the road, like a good guy. Uh-huh. Like, there were just kittens playing in the middle of the road. Right. Stop the car, got out, like, shoot them away. Like, yeah, go sh- on. shoot it. Get on out of here. Go on, get. Get. And they ran away after I pet them for a little bit. <laughs> and then I got back in my car, start going. Six horses. <laughs> and then after I saw them, they're like, hey, let's turn lights on. Let's have our flashlights out now. Like, why wouldn't you have your flashlights out the whole time? It, you probably scared the poop out of I'm them. I'm sure I did. Here's all the things that we missed. How's it going, Dalton? How's it going, Sarah? How's it going, other Dalton? How's it going, Bob, Jess, Bobby, Daniel? Holy comments. Sarah, whoa. You wouldn't believe we have this many fans with all the non-votes we're getting. 
We're going to get to there. Okay. We got votes to talk about. Hey, you know what I love about that whole story? When what? I was like, a boy? And you're like, close. <laughs> six horses. Six, six horses. <laughs> six horses and a boy are about the same, right? Like, I, if you were to trade them? I, <laughs> no way. A boy's worth one horse. Uh, yeah, to the right people. So... I'm just thinking of the call that you have to make their insurance because you have to claim it, and you can't. What are you going to do? Trade insurances with the horse? I don't know how that would work because I. Assume- I bet you they had the general. <laughs> <laughs> so you call and you're like, "Yeah, I got to report a claim. Tell us what happened." <sighs> well, this house was for sale, so I bought it, and now I have to drive to it every day. And there's so horses, and it's it, it was the my cousin <laughs> was driving one time, him and his wife and his two kids. Okay, and they hit a cow, <laughs> like full on hit a cow, <laughs> and like it just destroyed the car. Right, of course, the cow was destroyed. That's all that happened. Good story. I almost hit baby cows all the time because they get out because they don't leave the fences on. Like, cows are dumb. You could just let them out. Like, you know how, like, you could just leave a little bit of a fence and a cow won't go over it. But baby cows don't know any better. So they get out, they get through them and then they'll just be running on the road all the time. Wish- Dear horses and cows are what you got to not hit it around my house and kittens. I wish uh, my life was that carefree. Just jumping over things. Don't even care. You can't jump over stuff. Hey, come on. Am I wrong? Do you get Polynesian sauce at Chick Fil A? Polynesian. No. Why? It was a Sammy. You dump it out. It. That's what I, I don't did. Know I'm driving. Shouldn't drive and eat. You're right. It's not gonna make it worse. Let's get into the pops. I'm bored. They gave me three packets of Polynesian. That's all I'm saying. That's a lot. <laughs> they usually only give two for nuggets. Yeah. That ratio doesn't add up. Three for a sandwich? Well, how many sa- how many nuggets are in a sandwich? Like 10, right? No. There is 7.2 nuggets in no a sandwich. No way there's that little there, bit of nuggets in the sandwich. There is a conversion on Chick-fil-A.com. <laughs> Chick-fil-A.org? <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Uh, Chick-fil-A.org slash change. It's, um, here, I'll spell it for you. C H. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's talk about some pops. Let's baby. talk about pops, baby. Let's t- Did you ever do that one? No, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. No, Chillax. That would have been good. For Loco. Okay, we got Buffy Rock Candy. We got Buffy Summer. I'm going to start playing that switch again. Played by the great Sarah Michelle Geller, SMG. Michelle Scheller. Michelle, Sarah Michelle Geller, Sarah Michelle Geller, and and then we got Boom Willow Rosenberg. I don't know who that is. That's another character from Buffy. She was played by Allison Hannigan. Cool. People may know her from Two Guys a Girl in a Pizza Place. What did you say? So Two Guys a Girl in a Pizza Place. Is she the oven? Yes. <laughs> yes, she is the oven. We got. Flocked Fox and Socks. That's a GS exclusive. GameStop exclusive. Pretty cool, right? I like Flock Pops. Is it going to be a lot more? Uh, GameStop hasn't done that yet. They haven't went the ways of old Hot Topic. But uh, it's around the corner, right? (laughs) Ye old Hot Topic? Ye old Hot Topic. HT. (laughs) These, These were so much better. Fine, you buy them from now on. <laughs> That's what I friggin' thought. You frig. You frickin' hacker. Game of Thrones. Ugh, dorbs. We got Erica Stark. She's a dorb. Moving on. We got Cersei <laughs> Lannister. She's a dorb. Moving on. <laughs> we got Jamie Lannister. He's a dorb. Next. Moving on. We got Jon Snow. He's a dorb. Is he alive? <laughs> I've never seen Game of, Game of Thrones. Have you? You almost said a swear. No, I didn't. <laughs> then we got M- Melissa Nandre. Melissa Andre. Move it on. <laughs> Move it on. We got Chase Melissa Andre. She glows in the dark. That's kind of cool. Move it on. <laughs> That's it from that. Whew, whew. Good wave. Then we got Rock Candies. We got 
Breen the Tar Breen of Tarth. <laughs> and Denarius Tarian. At the at the Dimodome. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I haven't yelled at you yet today. I know, it's weird. I know. Battle the Bastards. You you could say it when it's a title, say it. Uh, I'm not. The, it's a trap. Battle of the Bastards. I already have heartburn. I have super bad heartburn. <laughs> What's it made out of? I don't know. Turpentine? <laughs> Harry Potter Mystery Minis. Ooh. Ugh. I know. They're not the ones we like. Name them. What are they? I can't see. What do you mean you can't see? What is going on over no, there? No, it's fine. Because when you click it, it comes up right. Say it. Say what it is. I can't see him. I see Bellatrix and uh, there's a dragon, a little guy who looks like a plant. That's Neville. He's a weirdo. You got uh, all three people in the sorting hat. It looks like you got some sort of owl, a mer person. Um, this is probably that lady. That's a Snape. Uh, that's a demental. D- demental. What was the worst part about prison? Prison, Mike. The worst part was the dementors. <laughs> they fly around. Dementors like Harry Potter. These are the Hot Topic exclusive mystery minis, which include Azkaban prison garb. Oh, my God. Azkaban prison guard? Garb. It's it's the guy that the prisoner of Azkaban in Azkaban clothes. That's serious back. Yeah. In Azkaban clothes. Okay. Buckbeak. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. And Fred and George Weasley. (laughs) Weasley. Weekly. <laughs> okay, next mystery minis are Barnes and Nobles. You got Neville with his toad, and then Ginny with her pygmy puff. Cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like Game of Thrones, right? Nope. No. Hot Top Harry Potter. Oh, my God. Here we got some Smurfs. You going to get some Smurf stuff? Nope. I don't like Smurfs except for this one. He's like, hmm. <laughs> Ew. That's a uh, brainy. Smart Smurf. Brainy Smurf. <laughs> then we got that's Dreamy a, Smurf. That's a majority Smurf. <laughs> Ex- explain that one to me. Because he's all white. They're all white. What? No, uh, he's all blue, but he's wearing mostly white. Yeah, that's white all is, of them. White is a majority. Yeah, that's all of them. There's Gargamel with Azriel. Gargamel likes to eat them, right? Yep, that's his whole... The, Whole thing they want to do. The whole reason Gargamel wants to find Smurfs is to eat them because he thinks they taste good. That's disturbing. That's all he wants to do. Hey, kid. Then we got to go to a Papa Smurf. He Smurfs the Smurfs. Smurf. Smurf, yeah. This is purple Smurf. That might be uh, like an exclusive. I've seen one one of him with a slightly darker purple. That might be a chase. I don't know. Then we got Smurfette. She's the only lady Smurf. But she gets Smurfed on the reg. Okay. <laughs> We're done talking about Smurfs. Get him the Smurf out of here. I'm very tired. Are you very tired? Um, oh, yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. I've been up since five. Me too. Really? You got up at five this morning? Yep. What is that? Spider-Man 2. This is Spider-Man 2 collector set. It comes with three pint-sized heroes. And guess what else? There's Spider-Man 3 that comes with three different pint-sized heroes. Well, now you got to get them. And then this, there's regular Spider-Man that comes with three other ones. And then you want the, the Amazing Spider 2 movie collection set that comes with three other pint-sized heroes. But guess what? What? There is another one. It's got... A, there's a random... Like one, like there's a random mystery mini. Oh, uh-huh. that's terrible. Yeah, why would they do that? I know those are probably thirty bucks each. They are very expensive. Yep. I no, they're Blu-rays. They can't cost that much, right? They yeah, four K is still super expensive. Blu- but they're not four K Blu-rays. Just what I'm, Blu-rays. I, yeah, but what I'm saying is four K is at that point where Blu-ray was ten years ago and DVDs were still kind of high. That's where we're still at. Blu-rays are still kind of high, but like you can get a couple and not break the bank. You're not going to be the B? Star Wars 3-pack. Yeah, with who? Ugnot Lobo and Bespin Guard is the Cloud City 3-pack from Walmart. 
And it, gets, it has the 40th anniversary sticker on there. That's kind of cool. And then you got the Ewoks three pack. It does not have the 40th anniversary sticker. This is these are rough. Oh my god! <laughs> you got Tebow, Chirpa, and Long Gray, Low Gray, Low Gray, Little Gray, Lil, Lil Sebastian. <laughs> feel hot do you feel hot yeah i think we're poisoned by these thor ragnarok oh my god you didn't send me this throughout the week <laughs> look at her this is one of the bad ladies i don't know her name i don't know any other names it was uh hella right oh yeah no i can't remember her name either. that sounds about right it starts uh, it's something like that and then we got ragnarok sweet that's uh that's uh george Bloom. Yeah, yeah. Something Bloom. Uh, no, it's not. No. Gary Bloom? No, it's uh Edwards. No. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Yeah. What's his name? Ruxin's dad. Bob, what's Jeff, this guy's Jeff name? Gore, Gore Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Ah, I, I, I nailed it. <laughs> That's another Hella. <laughs> That's Hulk. That's a bummer. That he's not a six inch? Yes. Here's why they can't make Hulk a six inch. Let's talk about it. In all the other sets, he's not a six inch. So you can't just make a six inch Hulk. Yes, you can. You can literally start doing that. No, no, I don't think you can. But look how cool he looks. He's got a mouth. None of them have mouths. That's true. Except for Rick. Loki. Loki is Loki awesome. Yeah, he's high key awesome. (laughs) Then I call this guy Rainbow Bridge Gatekeeper. I forget what his name is. I don't know. But that's who it is, right? The guy that keeps the Rainbow Bridge? Yes. And then Thor. Is that it? Beforehand haircut. There's going to be an exclusive or a chase where his hair is cut. Oh, and his beard's gone. Those are awesome. Here, he does not. This won't fit his dumb head. Is this Thor? Looks like him, right? Yeah. That won't fit his stupid head. Why would... The heads are never proportionate, bud. But sometimes they are. Never. Always. Sometimes. I really like almost every six inch they do. I'm serious. Have you seen Balrog? Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. Awesome, right? He he barely fits in the box. I know. How do they do it? It is beautiful. Um, the All the Overwatch six inches are great. Yep. Even the ones we don't like, I think, are pretty cool. The Godzilla one's pretty neat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, all the Titans from, uh, from Titanfall and all the Titans from Attack on Titan look pretty cool, too. King Kong looks pretty awesome. Yeah. I really like all the six inches they do. It gives you so much more room for detail. Yeah, it really does. It just gives you more surface area. Yeah. Star Wars. Katana three pack dorbs. These are from the D23 convention. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. That's why I yawned. Remember how we read the D23 and they're like, oh, yeah, there's going to be two Guardians two packs. Yeah. They're dorbs. Oh! How psyched are you, dude? So psyched. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Me that's, too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yep. So there's Gamora and Gr- uh, Drax. Remember when you flirted with the idea like twice about getting dorbs, and then you're like, wait a minute. I have some dorbs right here. You hear those fireworks? Yeah, I hear That's them. upsetting. Yeah. And then we got Rocket and... Peter Quill. Peter Quill. How's it going, Chuck? Say hi to Chuck. What up, Chuck? Don't say it like that. Hi, Charles. <laughs> well, don't say it like that either. What? And then we got a Hoth, Han Solo with Tauntaun. Hoth Sloan. You said Haneth. Haneth. <laughs> Haneth H. Soloth, <laughs> get to your room. What, at my old job, we had this big Hewlett Packard plotter, and I put googly eyes on it. And it had a little... Like, uh, like the whole way across it, it was like a, uh, it would print E sized, which is like three foot wide. Okay. And it had this big cover because it would, you'd have to replace the markers in it because it would draw in color. Like it would draw it. Okay. And I would always print out this like red tongue. <laughs> so it looked like it had its tongue out of its mouth. And I'd be like, I'm, 
Yes, I'm Harry Packerton the Fourth. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's so much. But when you're up for like 48 hours writing reports, it's the funniest thing ever. Like I used to dr- like print out, like made it look like it was puking. Don't act like what a waste of material. Listen, <laughs> when you're 20, you don't care about material. Am I right? What do you Here got? Here we go. Red She Hulk. D23 Rock Candy. I like her. Spin her around. It's not it's not working. Come on. No spinnies. Okay, that brings us to D23. So we're gonna you will do pop up shop number one. Now we're gonna try to go to the pop up shop because we got tickets to fun days. They close at three. They close at three. We're gonna get there around noon Friday. We could probably do it. We probably can. I think we can schedule to rent a car in the air or on our way there. I already have it. It's just going to pick it up. What? Yeah, I already I got us a Chrysler three hundred. Ugh. Points, baby. I tried to get a Corvette. They were out of them. That would have been dope. <sighs> Not for anything in particular, just to have a car. <laughs> I would have been driving. I still am. Chuck, we're super psyched for fun days. Chuck, if I'm correct, you're also going to fun days. Who's that? Chuck. Chuck who? You, we don't know him. We've seen him at Steel City Con. I'll tell you later. <laughs> All right. Um. We're pretty psyched about it. Are you psyched about it? Yeah, fun days, 20 days, dude. Yeah, it's in 20 days, and uh, we didn't schedule it the greatest. We're flying out Friday morning. Get there at noon. We'll get there at 9 a.m. in L.A., and then we're driving to San Diego because it was way cheaper, and we got there earlier. Uh, Earlier. Wait, and our, our, our hotel room is at the airport. Our hotel was at the airport at San Diego. Right. Right. And fun days is at San Diego, like like a half a mile from the thing. Gotcha. Yeah, Chuck's from the cave. Oh, duh. That's all he had to say. Yeah, duh. Sorry, Chuck. Sorry. <laughs> We've met multiple times before. <laughs> I'm not good with people. I see people all the time. Oh my god. I know you never see people. <laughs> So this is the first wave of the pop-up shop, guys. So we got Dorbs. We got Buzz, I really Bugs like Bunny. Bugs Bunny and uh, Yosemite Sam. Yeah. And it, this is the Kill the Wabbit, right? Yeah. Kill the Wabbit. Yeah. I like that. That was a good episode. And then we got a Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear, Boo Boo Bear, and Mr. Jinx Dorbs Astronaut 4-Pack. Whoa. <laughs> Duncan's excited. Duncan's like, wait. <laughs> There's Dorbs. And then we got Rock Candies. These ones are interesting. We got Betty Rubble from the Flintstones. How did Betty get with... No, I think you're talking the other way around. How did Barney get with Betty? Yeah. Natural selection, baby. No, I'm upset. You saw how low his hem was, right? (laughs) That's a thinker. (laughs) We got Judy Jetson, which I don't really... Uh, know if they should be making rock candies of women this young. Why? I don't know. And then we got Wilma Flintstone. Betty looks better. You think? You just like green eyes and black hair. Yeah. So what? Just saying. What? What are you reading? Chuck doesn't doesn't seem too thrilled about the idea of the pop up line. We're not either, but we might brave it out. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. We'll see. Yeah, Jessica, we know it was Elmer Fudd killed a wabbit. Uh, it's, That's what we said. Did we not just sing that? Yeah, that was like eight days ago. <laughs> Jeez, Jess. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Here we got the Pops. What? Daffy Duck. This is the, I believe they're only making a thousand or two of these. He's pretty pieces. cool. He's pretty cool. He's the uh, Chase Dorb version. Hey, I, I, I see a mouth, so you were wrong for a second time. This is a beak. Kill, it's his bill. Kill the wabbit. Next. <gasps> Marvin the Martian. He looks pretty sweet. And there are only 1,000 of him. What are we going to do? We're not. They, they, there's no way we're there's no way we're getting in line. There's they, no way they're going to run out of, they're going to run out of all the stuff that we want. Yeah. And then hey, there's another Marvin the Martian. 
and this guy's pink, and he's 2,500 pieces. Oh, my God. And then there's another one. Guess what? He's yellow, and That's he's 1,000 pieces. Yellow's gross. <laughs> Wait. On board with green and pink. Yeah, look at that color. I don't know. I kind of like it. Ew. Come on. That was hot pink, too. Dude, <laughs> these are so cool. Mr. Hyde and Bugs Bunny. I believe this is tri- only triple digits. This wow. is like 750 count. These are awesome. They are. And I love how they're picking like real things. Uh-huh. Like we'll get to pop-up shop day 2 and then we'll talk about <laughs> not real things. Okay. But he's pretty cool. This is a cool two pack. And then you got Peter Puma, he's a thousand. That's cool. And then we're back to Daffy. Yeah, <sighs> okay. Yeah, my stomach hurts from these. <laughs> They're kind of the worst. <laughs> It really are, but we got to keep drinking them. I'm sorry, guys. I'd read the comments if he put the thing closer. Chuck's to me. saying 250 a day. That sounds about right. Jess, we would gladly get you uh, 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 Bugs and Mister Hyde, but there, there's no way they're going to be not going to be sold out. What did Chuck say? 250, 250 a day is what they'll they'll do it to. Yeah, I, we're gonna we're not gonna be able to get it. We won't get down there till one noon. No, no. Wait, our plane gets in at San Diego at 9? No, our plane gets into LA at 9.30. Then it's a three-hour drive to San Diego. Oh, yeah. But we don't have to go straight to the hotel. We could go... Yeah, we can check in later. We could check in whenever and then go straight to the... um, We're just taking carry-ons. Yeah. Get there quick. Here is a Huckleberry Hound 8-pack. We got a knight, a fireman, a bellhop, a cowboy, a swami, a cop, a... Uh, 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 an explorer and a mountie eight packs of dwarves eight pack dwarves cool i don't know i like dwarves no you don't i think dwarves are okay chuck said he knows people that are gonna get in line wednesday night at 8 p.m 9 p.m <laughs> cool looks like we're taking a nap <laughs> at the hotel room let's go to the zoo <laughs> I really want to. I'm not going to those animal prisons. <laughs> <laughs> we got Peter Perfect Wacky Racers. Do you ever see the Wacky Racers TV show? Yes. I'm older than you. <laughs> Look at that one. And then we got, this is Rufus Roughcut and Sawtooth. <laughs> that's all the dorbs from Ch- Pop Shop Day 2. Let's go to Pops because the other you're going to like a lot. Okay. We got Big Gruesome. He's 1,600 pieces, 1,500 pieces. He's a six inch. That's cool. It is. Then we got Peter Perfect. He's like 750. Yeah, he's 750. Oh, boy. And then we got Rosie the Robot three pack. That's crazy. Get out of here. That's so dumb. They all look angry. None of them look happy to be alive. That's how Rosie always used to look. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but she like. She didn't look as angry. Uh, yeah, I don't know if her eyes were always up like that. Yeah. But she, Would mom- you get one? Of, this is one of 3,000. We have a chance of getting this. No, I wouldn't get that. Of this course. is Rufus Rough Cut, rough cut with uh, 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 Sawtooth. Okay, this is Scooby-Doo, but I made names for all these ones. So this is Scooby-Doo. This is Ruby-Doo because he's red. He's really cool. He's a thousand pieces. So my whole thing is like, where did these ones come from? Right. Like most of the time they like base them off of things that were in the show, but I don't remember these guys and they're flocked. Yeah. Hey, guess what? What? And you got blue. So that's Scooby blue. I called him. I got it. And then you got green. That's Scooby D E W. Cause he looks like Mountain Dew. And I believe they're all limited to a thousand pieces. Nope. Scooby Blue is 2,500. I want that. The blue one? I want all of them. We'll see what they got when we get there. They're not going to have anything. And that back to Big Gruesome. Now, this is the stuff that's kind of cool. And I don't know if you'll like it, but I thought it was neat. This is a Huckleberry Hound soda. Pop soda. Wait, it's either pop or soda. It's they're th- they're They're calling it pop soda. So this is really cool. I don't know how we'd get it back safely in the We wouldn't plane. drink it? I don't know. They look pretty cool, right? Hey, what if we change our flight to Thursday night? There wasn't any good ones, remember? We might be able to do that. Not without getting charged a lot of money. Nuh-uh. I'm pretty sure. You can change flights at any time. Wait. <laughs> That's a Southwest perk. Yeah, maybe. We'll, t- we'll take a look. 
Yeah. In a book. Then we got Huckleberry. But then it doesn't Hunt. matter if, the, if if Chuck's sending people down at Wednesday at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Chuck's going to be there. Oh, that's true. That's cool. I don't know. We're not going to get anything. We might get some stuff. I'm bumming, man. I'm bumming pretty hard. Next. I decide when I hit the buttons. <laughs> we got a Huckleberry Hound shirt. These are limited to like 500. Gotcha. Then we got Marvin the Martian soda pop toppers. Pop soda. This is strawberry kiwi. Huckleberry Hound was blueberry. Makes sense. Then we got Adventures of the Mars the Martian t-shirt. And Cosmic Crunch. And then we got a Scooby-Doo Snoopy Snacks t-shirt. It better not be brown soda. No, it's a, it's a shirt. It comes in a box. Gotcha. Pretty co- pretty dope, right? Pretty Coke. Pretty Coke. <laughs> That's pretty Coke. So uh, we'll go to wave 10 is HBO. I saw. So we got a uh, Tormund and Bjorn two pack from Toy Tokyo. It's a Game of Thrones thing. I don't watch it, but I guess people like it. You guess? Yeah, I guess. So then we got Game of Thrones: The Mountain with Armor. Now it doesn't say in this one, but the last the mountain was six inch, right? Yes, he was. Maybe this will also be a six inch. They just didn't write it on. It there. looks like it is. It looks like it is, but you know what? If and butts do candy and nuts. That's from Westworld. Yep, this is Westworld. Musashi. Musashi. Just how do you say that? She does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and then we got Young Ford. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like that either. He's got an opened up face. And I'll tell you, like I tell everybody, I don't like opened up faces. <laughs> if I said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Close the faces. Faces are meant to be closed. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we got Lounge Fly. This is pretty cool. They're bags. Yeah. They're, they're sweet. You don't like them? No. What is there to like? It's a Star Wars bag. This is a Star Wars limited edition denim patch backpack. Eighty dollars, only four hundred made. Eighty dollars. It might be a big bag. I don't know. They're for ladies. What did Jess say? Jess said, "Dishonor on you and dishonor on your cow." Oh, it was horses. <laughs> and then we got a Stranger Things limited edition backpack. It's forty five dollars, only four hundred made. No, it's forty five dollars, only four hundred made. I would. Get that. That could be your carry on. No, I wouldn't waste my time with that carry on. Oh, you're talking about under the bag carry on? Yes. Or under the seat carry on? Feet cubbies. Feet buddies. And then we have this, which is the official glams for Conan. Conan. Now, I'm going to try real hard to win him this year because I never win the Conans. Okay. How do you win them? You got to watch Conan, and then he gives you a code. You go to the website, you type in the code. And then they don't even let you know if you win. They just show up. So here's the Flash Conan. Flash Conan. And then we got Jedi Conan. <clears throat> Mono Conan, which is going to be the hard one to get. Sputterman Conan. And then White Walker Conan. So you just got to watch Conan when? When he's doing his... Uh, San Diego. San Diego shows. Gotcha. Um, Here's Cancer. There is cancer. So, Pop, uh, for for Freddy's birthday, they started putting out these Zodiac um, Freddy's. I bought one. I know you did. Um, he's a crab, and I mean, it is Zodiac cancer this month, so it makes sense. Pretty cool. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, for Haraki Friday. <laughs> Never we fails. got mini Haraki Freddy in copper. Pretty dope, right? No. Why do you got to hate? It's very hot in here. Shut up. It, someday I'm going to get full on air conditioning in someday. here. Someday. And then you're going to be like, it's far too cold. In the eyes of a popper nut. <laughs> was good, right? What are you, Jamie? So on the 19th. People are. Uh, this is from the uh, Funko they're gonna Twitter. They're going to wait to the 19th to yeah. say when they're shared? The day before. Oh, my God. They do it every time. Every time it's like that. So they're saying more San I don't Diego. Know. I think we got them leaked a little quicker last time. We, yeah, maybe. 
No more uh, SDCC waves, but still a couple more surprises. Yep, Infinity War, Infinity Wars and Inhuman Pops are coming, and there's a chance for Yondu, and there's probably going to be another wave of Batman animated series. So what's cool about the No More Waves is no Overwatch. Right. And no no crazy Rick and Morty ones. No just, crazy just Rick one. and Morty, just the one. And then there's no Dragon Ball Z, which is big for you. No Dragon Ball Z. Um, so we'll talk about it here in a minute, but we'll talk about it after we're done with news. But like, do you know how many you're going to end up buying? I ha- I know. And it's sad. <laughs> like, I'm sad about it. Um, so the pop-up shop items will not be sold at the booth. Pop-up is open to everybody. American Gods are in development. And uh, Justice League retailer exclusives are going to be soon. Talk it. Come on. Man. And then yeah. for those of you who also listen to Funko Funcast, this is big news. Sully Solly said there's a t-shirt in the Legion of Collectors box this time. Big news. Sully said that on the Funko Funcast. Funko Funcast. You heard it from us. <laughs> after after <laughs> Sully said it. After Sully said it. There's a shirt in that box. There is. What's in the box? A shirt. Okay. What do you want to do next? Well, we got games retail stories. Uh, we got retail stories. We might have a retail story. What? what? I want to read it. You can, my good sir. You want to do retail stories? Yeah, we'll do retail story first. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, retail stories. I'm that's, gonna, that's the jingle. I'm going to uh, isolate that. <laughs> and play it all the time. And play it before I go to bed. This is from, I believe, Nate again. Really? Yeah. Yo, Nate. I got it four days ago. Don't swipe any other way but up and down. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. Oh my god, Nate, you got it like Spark knows this, man. No, he loves it. I love it. Read it, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna uh, critique you the Nate whole time. Nate here you read with it. the weird noises. This is an old retail story that I thought I would share. On March 2nd, 2017, ECCC exclusives hit the stores. I pre ordered Emerald Fair from GameStop January thirtieth. Not realizing not realizing it was going to be a con exclusive. Anywho, I went into GameStop Saturday night with my lady and asked my asked about Farah. I said, rumor has it you guys already have that pop, but I can't have it until Thursday. He said, yes. I asked if I could see it. He let me. Great guy. He well, said, yeah. He, sh- he should have let him see it. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah, we only got two. Someone pre-ordered one, and we got an extra one, but someone already put their name on it. I got to see my pop. I was the pre-order. I called the morning around noon. I talked to an employee and said, hi, I pre-ordered the Emerald Farah pop. Can I come get it tonight? They said, yes. I go in the game around 5.30. I told them I was here to pick up my Farah. He looked at me funny, looked around the store and back and couldn't find it. He looks at me and says, I can't find it. I said, oh, the dude on Saturday pulled it from behind the door. The boy says, yeah, it's not here. Hopefully we get more in tomorrow. Be sure to call tomorrow. Ha. <laughs> Wait, he laughed? He wrote ha. I think it's, I think it's Nate. Ha. Ha. And, I'm a very patient person, but come on. I gave them the benefit of the doubt, hoping it was misplaced in the store. They get more tomorrow. Tomorrow arrives. They didn't have it. Luckily, another local store had one, or I would have pulled all my pre-orders at that time and tried to make a point. But do they really care? They, But do they really care? Probably not. This game store has a bad reputation within the mall. The Hot Topic is amazing, supposedly the best in the region. The FYE is good, but they just seem lost as sales associates. Since my last story was about Best Buy Reinhardt and being gypped by Journey. Oh, Journey was a Journey was the guy's name. <laughs> well, we can't assume. He went on uh, a journey. I received Reinhardt this past Tuesday, June 27th. Hey, th- that's awesome, man. I saw, I saw the trade. He's like, what do you think about this trade? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What do you trade for Reinhardt? He traded. It doesn't matter. I met a nice lad who traded, traded me unmasked Reinhardt, Lunchbox Reaper, and Funtime Foxy for my Ren and Stimpy Chase and Iron Fist. I think he got the better end of that deal. Gold. My Overwatch collection is not complete until more releases arrive. So he got unmasked Reinhardt, Lunchbox Reaper, and Funtime Foxy. Yes. Well, Funtime Foxy isn't really worth anything. But that's cool. Ren and Stimpy Chase. 
an Iron Fist. That Reinhardt's worth like forty to fifty bucks. That, that Reinhardt's worth both of those chases. Yeah, by yeah, itself. Yeah, he did make out. <clears throat> I love the podcast, and I'm very excited for you guys to go to your fun day and super stoked to hear the SDCC exclusive stories from you guys and the listeners. I will feed you guys oh, more stories as they come available. Heart, heart. Oh yeah. So maybe it's you. <laughs> 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 That's mad. What, <laughs> You're not a good guy. So what I want to know is, were they like, what did they do with it? It was less than 24 hours, right? He goes in one day and they're like, dude, you want to touch it? And he's like, what? <laughs> and then he calls. He's like, can I come tonight? And they're like, yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> and then they outsource somebody, right? And they're like, here it is. And he's like, what? This isn't it. Well, this isn't it. Uh, uh I uh I like the Reinhardt story better. <laughs> just because that was raids, baby. That no no no, because that remember oh, his Best yeah. Buy story? Oh, his Best Buy story was a uh, This one's a little rough because he got to hold it and then they're like, Nope. <laughs> well, no, he got to see it last time too, remember? Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was like locked in the cage. Yeah. They put his name on it. <laughs> He liked it, so they put his name on it. Hey, Nate, what kind of guy are you? What Nate, are you doing? <laughs> which I can only be assume, which I can only assume is short for Natty. Right. Come on, you gotta lighten up. <laughs> Keystone. You, Natty Ice. Yeah. This- I got the joke. That was good. Okay, now I didn't make a new Pop or Not song. Dude. Does, so- does Nate watch us live? No, I don't think so. Nate! Nate! <laughs> so I'm going to play number three. No. No, uh, number four. We have comments. Yo! I like this one a lot. What's the deal with this pop or not? <laughs> Did you read comments? Yeah, for some reason it's not showing us new ones. Oh, okay. It just says, hey guys, but I'm pretty sure Chuck said that a while ago. So sorry if we're not seeing your comments. I don't know how to fix it. Facebook is weird sometimes. I'll, I'll read them later and re- respond to them later. I promise. Pop or not? Did they make Blades of Glory pops with Will Ferrell and the guy from Napoleon Dynamite? John Heater. Yeah. That I waved at at Steel City Con, and he gave me one of these. Let me see a pen real quick. Why? I, I need it. Just hand me a pen. I don't. There's one right over here. No, just hand me one out of your cup. Where's the cup? Right there. Oh, okay. Light green. You got light green. Yeah, they did. I won't look. Yo, Roomba. Drop nah. Leonard, what are you doing? Abed's Fortnite's pillows. But I was going to lie there. I was going to invest in IBM in 1952, but life is full of disappointments. <laughs> Nate's watching. What up, Nate? What did he say? His girlfriend and him laughed pretty hard <laughs> when we read the stories. <laughs> they didn't make Blades of Glories. I thought. I know you would think with all the other ones, with like 21 Jump Street and Napoleon Dynamite and Dodgeball and Step Brothers and Talladega Nights, they would have, right? You always get me. I get you. It bums me out. It does. Come on, Nate. You should have been there. Come for on, me, Nate. Man. <laughs> okay. How many pops, if any, God. Ugh. did they make of Mel Gibson? Why? They made at least two. Okay. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Two. Mm-hmm. Both Braveheart? One of them is an FYE Braveheart. Uh-huh. Hit that Your green button. Drop the beat. Oh, I'm fully freaking out. I just experimented with an unfamiliar acronym in public. BRB. What does it even mean? Be right back. It is the same number of syllables as the acronym. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ow! I never get that. Paparazzi. All right, let's do. It's the vinyl. The 
vinyl. <laughs> These are rough. They're rough drinks. Yeah, they're gross, dude. Okay. You right? You got a pen and a paper? Yeah, I'm watching my reaction in the camera. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Facebook Live's on like a five second delay. So it's like looking in the slow mirror. Um, <laughs> Planet Aralia Vegeta, 2014, he's, Tokyo. He's number one. <laughs> Probably not. I knew New you York City that. Comic Con. Planet. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. Holographic Darth Maul 2012 San Diego Comic Con. Okay. Spider Man Metallic 2011 San Diego Comic Con. Chewbacca Flocked 2011 San Diego Comic Con. And Shadow Trooper 2011 San Diego Comic Con. Shadow Trooper. I don't think Planet Vegeta is the most expensive one on this list. What was this theme? A con men because like they were all from cons hollow Darth Maul is number one yeah bam <laughs> then planet wait no wait I know what it is it's flock Chewbacca Spider-Man ah Shadow Trooper yeah I can't give you a green for this one <laughs> <sighs> then planet no. Is Planet the least one? Maybe. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Hollow, Shadow, Chewbacca. Yep. Spider Man. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You're not even close to green. I got the first one. Press the red. Come on, Duncan. Yo, Roomba, drop the beat. I want to know the prices. Shut up, Leonard. Those teenage girls you play ping pong with are doing it ironically. It's from Community. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, it goes uh, holographic Darth Maul 2012 was 1580. Jeez, 1580 dollars. Yeah. In case anyone Shadow Trooper was 1080. Uh, Chewbacca Flocks was 970. Planet Arlia was 920, and Spider Man Metallic was 650. You pronounced Planet earlier. I know. Correct. I've been trying to do better. You're the best. What'd you get this week? <sighs> what did I get this week? Well, we were going to do a deal together, but you backed out for other friends. I didn't back out. I told you I wanted to get in before they sold out of stuff. I had the Alien uh, Xenomorph GameStop exclusive that I picked up. Um, what else? What did you get? Anything? Yeah, I got stuff. I can't. I don't think I got anything else. Nate had some questions for us, but Nate, I think we're going to hold it off till next week when we have less to talk about. Okay. Here's what I got. Okay. Oh, Amazon Angry Groot should have been a hot topic exclusive. Should have been. Yeah, because he's angsty. Oh, oh, I get you. His wrists aren't cut. Oh, so. Anders from Workaholics. It's a hard on. It's a hard on. Okay, <laughs> Anders. Uh, it's a hard on. <laughs> then Anders. We got Ch- Trumblebee. Tumblebee, which I really like. He looks cool. Is he heavy? He ain't light. And you could see where they pulled the sticker off the box. Why did they pull the sticker off the box? Because originally they were numbered and then they decided not to. So they took all the stickers off the boxes. <laughs> And then I want that job. Two pack Groot and Rocket FYE two pack. It's the same as all the other ones I checked, but in a two pack. So now I have three Rockets and three Groots. Why? Why would you do that? Because you need them all, or they're not complete. Coming from the guy who might, who almost didn't do chases for complete sets. Shut up. <laughs> I said I'd get them when I get them, and then I got four. <laughs> True. You whoa, okay? whoa. That was my chain jug. Change jug. <laughs> so, what are you looking to get at San Diego Comic Con exclusive wise? I want Minberry Crunch and okay. Mysterion. Mysterion is not. Sorry, the, the coon. coon. Yeah. I have a list. Uh oh. Pull it up. And like Santa, I have a beard and I check it twice, baby. <laughs> like Santa, I know like where you Santa. sleep. <laughs> 
I made a list. Where's it at? Oh, no. Did I lose my list? Okay, here we go. Ah. Scott Pilgrim with the Sword of Destiny. You like Scott Pilgrim? Yes. Nega Scott and Roxy Richter. Flocked Cat Dog. Happy, happy, joy, joy, Ren and Stimpy. Clara. The Tick. Steve, Mr. Clark, Tingles, and Ghost in a Jar and Negatron. That's it. So it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want Ghost in the Jar too. Do you think he's that's he, coming? That's Toys R Us. It's got to be. That'll be cool. Now the the only thing that's helping me out here is that Negus or uh, Scott Pilgrim with the Sword of Destiny, Rocky or Roxy, and Happy Happy Joy Joy are all con exclusives. Those are limited, so they're going to be a little bit more difficult to get. Yeah, we're going to have to hit up Hot Topic first thing. Hot Topic there. and uh, GameStop and FYE and Barnes Noble and Toys R Us. <laughs> it's gonna, I took that day off. Toys R Us is going to be rough. Um, those places are going to be rough because, well, Barnes opens at 8. Yeah. So that's cool. Last year, Hot Topic opened early for us because we asked them nicely. Only like 20 minutes, but it was enough to get us out of the store. Yeah, because nobody else knew they opened early except for us. It, yeah, that's true. We were It was pretty dead. Yeah, because they didn't tell anybody. GameStop last year had a line. They did. Yeah, it was so crazy. So did FYE. Everybody went from GameStop and then ran up to FYE. I gotcha. Yeah, it was a pretty big line. Yeah, it was. So let's talk about the voting thing. Okay, so we're in the mix for two Podcast of the Year awards. We need your help. We do. Go to, um, and I'm, I'll put the link. <laughs> Are you okay? WWW. Nope. I'll put the link in the show notes. Okay. It's talkingpops.com slash voting. So if you want to be real chums, please, please, please help us. We want to win. We know we always beg you to write, rate and review the show and you don't do that. So could you please <laughs> listen? do the survey? This is only going to cost you 10 minutes of time. Like I did it. I made two videos on how to do it. Vote for both in less than six minutes. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks. Please vote for us. Check it out. Uh, it'll help us out. And Because uh, we want to win. We want to win in Pittsburgh and we want to win all time. That'd be so if you go to the Pittsburgh one, it's under People and Places, Best Local Podcast. And then there is a the the actual podcast, like Academy of Podcasting Awards. We're under, you could do under Podcast of the Year and under um, Games and Hobbies. When's the voting end? That ends the city one, the Pittsburgh City Paper one. Ends the 19th. Okay. These are all nominations. So there's nominations until the 19th for um, the Pittsburgh City paper one. Okay. And then after 19th is the actual voting. So we'll hit you up on that too. And then until the 22nd or the 28th of July is nominations for the actual podcast awards. So do both. I think you could do each one every day. Really? Yeah. Like, I think you can just go in and they, they let you vote once a day. So I would really appreciate people doing it. And, like, get your buddies to do it. <laughs> They'll just stop with you. Be Take like, it to work. Listen. Hand out flyers. You know, if you, like, you don't, if you don't have kids and at the office they have all these people selling hoagies and candy bars and such. <laughs> this, is, this, is your, this is your kid. This is your, we're your kids. <laughs> Be like, sell candy bars for us. Yeah, it'd be awesome because we'd win. Yeah, we get little <laughs> stuff. We get awards, and that's going on a wall, preferably here. I got more Maybe wall space. This empty case. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, uh, but check that's us. it for that. This is this episode. That's it. Check us out social media. Follow us. All that good stuff that I always say. Talk of pops on everything. Check out. Check out <laughs> Northeast Collectibles. Check out uh, Pinewood Derby. Car. Yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> Pine State Con has their tickets on sale now, and they got VIP tickets, VIP tickets. People know what VIP. Check so, out Epicast. Epicast Networks uh, and services. Keep listening and check out our survey thing so you can nominate us. It's not a survey; it's a voting. But we get you anyway. We'll catch you guys. We'll catch you on the flippies next week. Bye. Bye. Where did everything go? There it is. Bye. And I'm not drinking that. Mm-hmm.